Oh, this video has been sponsored by Squarespace. Cue the video. Welcome back to another video, guys. So if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Make sure you do click the subscribe button before you leave. And if you're not new here, then you would know that I'm trying to get my 10,000 pound Bentley ready for next week when we take it to Monaco on a 2,000 mile round trip, I think it is. And today we're gonna to be fitting an exhaust to it. But in real time, if you're watching this, I probably already left. That's why you should probably go and follow me on Instagram right here and you can see all the live updates of what we're actually getting up to and whether I have made it or we broke down. Now, if you're not a subscriber, then you probably won't know where we are. Well, we're actually at Mallory Performance where we're gonna be fitting the exhaust. If you are a subscriber, you know exactly where we are. We're here all the bloody time. And inside here is the exhaust. Now we'll show you what's inside this box in a short moment. Obviously it's Miltech. But before I do, I think it's only right to show you guys how bad, well not bad, but just muffled the Bentley Continental GT sounds from standard. So here's a little clip now. But yeah, just checking, there is actually a W12 in here and it's not a one liter. So we should probably make it sound like a W12 engine today. Cars in the ramp, just a quick reminder of what it sounds like standard. I know I compared the A45 to a Hoover. I think this one would have been more fitting. It's not, it's like a more powerful Hoover, like a <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm doing. Right, <laughs> let's show you what we've got. I know what you're saying. But Matt, that's not a full exhaust system, that's just part of it. Well, it's actually really difficult to find a full exhaust system in time for next week when we go Monaco. And I only found this because the people who sold it had a really good website. And you guys know how important it is to have a good website, which brings me on to tell you that this video has been sponsored by Squarespace. From websites to online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build and run your online business. So maybe it's time to turn your side hustle into a full-time business. Well, you're gonna need a website. Or maybe your online business, or whatever you do, does have a website, but it just needs updating, and it's not so easy to use. So look how easy it is just to create a website from scratch on Squarespace. All you gotta do, click my link in the description box below, select a theme, there's hundreds to choose from. When you've got a theme, you can literally just drag and drop your logos on there, drag and drop your pictures on there, and it begins to look like your own and it also looks professional as well. There's loads of things that you can do to reach out to customers, including email campaigns as well. There's just endless amount of things. If I were to name all of them, this ad would just go on and on and on. Point is, if you need a website, then squarespace.com is the place to go. So click my link in the description box below and you'll get 10% off your first website or domain name. Thanks for Squarespace for sponsoring this video and for ever supporting my channel. Back on with fitting the exhaust on the bed, name. gonna keep this the standard back boxes uh, one because I couldn't find any and two I don't want too much crazy noise obviously we're driving it over 2,000 miles so all we're gonna be replacing is this uh, silencer and the secondary cap so which should give us a bit more of a grunt and possibly a bit more power as well but what we've noticed I thought we we're just gonna be replacing it from there turns out we're not uh, we've got it disconnect them from right up in this hole here so uh, it looks like we're gonna have a bit of fun. Hey Phil. Mm.
Here we have the Miltec exhaust, which this bit will replace the back section. There's obviously nothing on there. Um, and this bit will replace the front section. Obviously there's nothing on there. They're just flexi pipes. This is the standard part. So that is just uh, a pipe all the way to a silencer. And then you've got a secondary cap. Um, there's no sensors around it or anything like that. And that'll go straight up into the down pipe. So by replacing this for the Miltech one, hopefully we get, well, we will get a better airflow straight through the exhaust and hopefully a better sound. So let's get it all back together. Let's see what it sounds like. You could be my only one. Right, everything's all connected. Let's get it down, let's start it up. Right, first start up, let's do it. Not too much different on cold start, but we'll let it warm and then we'll check back with you in a second. Right, it's warmer, let's give it a bit of a rev. Definitely not ridiculously loud, but it has got a deeper tone and it's definitely louder, but that is exactly what we wanted because we didn't want our ears absolutely being, well, we didn't want our, we didn't want our ears bleeding on the way to Monaco, but I think it's gonna sound really good on a lo under load. So let's get this out and let's test it on the road. So at first I was a little sort of underwhelmed by the sound of the Bentley. But then I remembered, it's a Bentley. It's not supposed to sound like the A45. It definitely sounds louder. And I'm pretty sure there's a bit more power in there as well after that. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if there was. We're yet to get it on the dyno, but we'll find out why. But you'll find out why in the next video why we haven't got it on the dyno as of yet. I also remembered one thing as well that we are completely out of stock of the 37 piece toolkit so you guys absolutely smashed it thanks for that we will be restocking most definitely and hopefully we're getting a few more bigger kits and smaller bits back in stock but for now make sure you go and grab yourself a Matt Armstrong jet tag because the link is in the description box below thanks every single one of you guys you've smashed it so yeah now I think it's got the grunt that it needs it's not too loud but it's not quiet at all and have you noticed what I've noticed? The rear lights have been tinted and the windows have been tinted as well. And not only that, the calipers have been repainted as well. But before we talk about that, let's talk about the alloys. So I released the video where I put these 22 inch alloys on the Bentley Continental GT. The comments were flooded with get smaller alloys, get 21 inch, get 20 inch. Well, I actually really like the alloys and I think the only thing that laid down was just the tire size. So, Wheelmania, being Wheelmania, sorted this out and now we have smaller tires and look at the fitment, I think it looks 10 times better. It is, it is now a 295, a 25, 22. And I know what you're all gonna say already, oh my God, the lower profile tires, it's gonna ruin the ride. Actually, you can't feel it inside. The air suspension is so good on this thing, you can't feel it inside. I've also lowered it a lot more and you're also gonna be like, oh my God, if you hit a pole, it's gonna break. Well, actually by going wider on the tire size, as well as going smaller, we've got more surface area that the tyres touch in the road. So it should give us a little bit more protection when it comes to potholes and things like that. Now, let's address the tints. Ice detailing have absolutely smashed it with the tints. I couldn't find anywhere in Leicester that we wanted to do my window tints before we go to Monaco. Uh, 
partly because of the reason it already had window tints on and they didn't want to peel them off and put ones on because that's a job in itself these guys contact me they said get it down here we can just fit you in we're going to do an all-nighter on the car but it's exactly what i did but i dropped the car off at nine o'clock on a saturday night and they finished it at about five o'clock in the morning they had to strip the whole back of the seats out the car has actually been double tinted so there have been window tint on top of window tint so there's glue absolutely everywhere tint tech alloys who work closely with ice detailing and also said do you want your calipers repainted i said yep yeah, go for it and they've absolutely killed it on that job there as well it look it, they've absolutely smashed it and not only that they've tinted the rear lights as well thanks to these guys we're definitely going to be looking sick in monaco right back to me the other wing mirror cover turned up which i managed to fit as well there's another 200 odd quid i've been grafting on the floor trying to get all the panels lined up exactly how we want them and the bentley's coming together so so well and i'm so glad that you guys are all here to join me on the journey of getting the bentley ready and if this is the first video that you've watched then make sure you click subscribe because you're going to join us on the trip to monaco where hopefully we will make it in this ten thousand pound bentley i've got to go and take it to get it tracked now now i've lowered it and put new tires on it and new wheels on i like the tracking to be all in place before we rack up all their miles and then it feels like there's only one place left we should take the bentley to make sure that it's 100 percent right for when we do the journey how does bentley's headquarters sound in crew yes that's right we're taking it to bentley so you guys make sure you stay tuned for the next video smash that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video peace out